Local professional matchmaker, uh, Julie Ann, uh, man, uh, rather, is uh, from It's Just Lunch, which we've heard a lot about. It's a lot of fun. Uh, she joins us this morning with the do's and don'ts of dating in a digital world. Say that ten times fast. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> well, thank you, first of all, for coming thank in. Thank you for and having me back. The social media world has changed the dating world significantly. It has, yeah. yes. Yeah. Tell us a bit about what's different now. Yeah, well, as an example of how much things have changed, I tell clients to think about their grandparents or even their parents. They most likely have not Facebook stalked someone prior to going out <laughs> on a that's potential a thing now. Yeah. It's a big Book thing. Stalking. It's oh, almost sure. the norm. Mm -hmm. And so even depending upon your own age, clients will say, Julie, I haven't dated since I passed a girl a note in a hallway yeah. or potentially went up to them face to face. So social media has changed things greatly. It has opened up our communication, it streamlined things, and given singles a lot of opportunities when it comes to dating. But because it's such an integrated part of our lives, of our dating lives, right. it can make or break a romance. And sure. so there are definitive rules to follow. So we are going to talk about some we're of those pitfalls. We're going to talk about those. You today, got it. Right? Help but, people yeah. out. Okay. Right. So we got a little game we're going to play? Let's do it. I'm All just right. saying, I don't really test well. We are going to talk about some <laughs> of the things that, <laughs> I just like that are perhaps pitfalls when it comes to online dating and social media and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And we're going to decide whether it's just flirty mm -hmm. fun and all good stuff or, or whether it's just a plain faux old pas. faux pas. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. A mistake. So let's, uh, all right. All right. Hit us up. Here we go. So there's different times to consider. So this first scenarios are going to be before you even go out on that date. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sending a text to let your date know, I'm excited to see you tonight. That's flirty. I'm going to say flirty. 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 Okay. Absolutely oh, right. So, so it so sets a good tone yeah. going right. into the date. And yeah. so, absolutely both I right on that. I wouldn't do it, but I think it would be You wouldn't do it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fun, flirty thing to do. Show. But you know what? You can wait for him to do it as well. So, that's fine. You let him take the lead. All right. How about friending someone? You want to get to know them a little bit before a first date? I'm going to say faux pas. Mm, yeah, faux pas there. Yeah, absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. So friending someone after a couple of dates right. can be a good thing. But if you're friending them too soon, it says creepy. Yeah. It says desperate. Because right. when you're a friend, then you can like get in their business. Right. You can get in their business. You can see stuff that you wouldn't otherwise Absolutely. See. So it's a timing thing. But if you do friend someone after a good couple of dates. How about making a friend with the, one of their friends so you can see on the slide? You know, you are not <laughs> new to the social media. <laughs> I'm just saying you're, you're telling me. Up. Quick <laughs> Going in the side there, well, absolutely. And a lot of people oh, have man. open pages, right. so you can still kind of okay. take a look at things. Okay. But that's a good point. How about looking at their Facebook page, doing exactly what you just said, and bringing it up on a first date? So maybe saying, hey, I can't believe you biked 30 miles last week. Wow, that's crazy. I think that's good. That's flirty, sure. Is that a flirty or faux pas, you're asking? Flirty or faux pas. I think it creep me. You know what? Faux pas. You're right. Really? Yeah. And while it can, I, I can see where the confusion is, the only thing that's going to be crazy or a little creepy is the fact that you trolled or right. looked at their Facebook page prior. Dating is about discovery. And you should really let those sorts of things come out naturally. I think it's rude for me to introduce something about you to you that, that you haven't didn't introduced share. to me. I, that's you are right. thinking common sense and that's, that's using your best right. judgment yeah. and it's absolutely but correct. But it was on their public page. But I didn't you know, tell They didn't make an effort to hide it from the world. Well, I'm not saying you can't look at it. You <laughs> have a little <laughs> snapshot of who they are. So then you gotta be careful though. But you gotta yes. be cool. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be, be cool about it. You then don't wanna bring it up, it up on yeah. a first date. Yeah, is I it? know and I also see her on level whatever on Candy Crush. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> taken it to a whole new level. Right. Yeah. So what about um, using all these new fun apps like Snapchat, let's say, to do a face swap on a first date? Uh, oh, faux pas. <laughs> faux pas, unless you're too. You know, here's the thing. While a lot of men are probably rolling their eyes at home, yeah. Cassandra, it can be a fun, flirty thing you to do. You haven't seen what my face looks like on Facebook. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put my best face out there on the first day. And you know what? For some of my younger generation who's dating, it can be fun. Okay. A lot of times there are those lulls or where you just kind of feel uncomfortable because first dates can be awkward. This lightens things up. Okay. You're outside on a patio and you go look at this fun app and all of a sudden thing, things are rolling again. Okay. So okay. I'm going to have to okay. go with flirty on that, but okay. you have to use it right, okay. definitely. Okay. Okay, next scenario is going to be after a date. So the date is done, uh -oh. and you 
post a picture on Facebook and you say, great first date, and you tag him. You really like him and you want him to know it. Faux pas. Yeah, definitely. Creepy. Yeah, this comes down to timing as well. Yeah. Posting a picture isn't the faux pas, it's the timing of it. Yeah. And so again, after a good couple of dates, yeah. to then post it says I'm interested, sure. I want to stay connected. Yeah. Posting it too soon, again, yeah. is too much and it's a turn off. Plus you might have had fun, but maybe they didn't. Yeah, yeah. you and, never, and you and don't know. Uh, exactly. And maybe he doesn't want everybody to know where he right. was. Right. Well, it might just be a faux pas for yourself. Like, it then is. you got to explain it, why that great date isn't around anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. It can break a romance. Right. And I've seen this with my own eyes happen. Right. And it's just lunch. So what about, um, and this would include, but I guess I should just bring it up, because a lot of people change that Facebook status. And they're, you know, putting things on Instagram right after about being in a relationship. Uh -oh. It's kind of after an obvious one, one. after one or two days. Oh, faux pas. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. a faux pas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, no, we, is there a fool? On yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> is fool right in? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and you'd be surprised how many people get excited and overly zealous and they do fall into right. that. Right. So again, it's just important to take things slow, let things happen naturally. The best relationships start by taking the time to get to know someone, right. building that foundation, and not falling into the trap of Googling, Instagramming, and thinking that you have this false sense of who they are. Right, right. Because it, it nothing beats good old-fashioned togetherness, mm -hmm. mutual conversation, affection, and getting to know someone, certainly. Great note to wrap this up on. We sure. have a lot of time. But thank you so much.